You probably found this video while procrastinating. You're probably avoiding something because you don't want to do it. You don't want to face the consequences of doing it. You probably don't want to do something because you're paralyzed by perfection. You want to fix things perfectly or have things in the perfect way or you want to do things at the perfect time because that's when it feels best. But I'm here to tell you, there's never a perfect time to do anything. The best time to do anything is right now. So that's really the only way to stop procrastinating but for you know to leave you with something the way i stop procrastinating is to simply li limit or minimize or just delete the time you take thinking about doing something so for example when you get up out the bed in the morning when you wake up and you don't want to get out of bed what does your brain do what are you doing you go oh i don't want to get out the bed if i get out the bed i, I could have got some more sleep and you start thinking about all these things and the more you think about these things, the more you get paralyzed by your own comfort, by your own laziness, whatever. And then all of a sudden, you just throw yourself out the bed. You're like, oh, let me just get up and go do this. You go wash your face, brush your teeth, do all that, right? Same thing with your homework. You sit there and you think about your homework. Oh, man, this homework, just three pages long, and I don't feel like doing this, and I don't feel like doing that. And you eventually don't do it until, you know, the bell rings during class, and now you... You know, you're running around trying to get the answers or when you got to wash dishes, you keep throwing those dishes in that sink. And you're like, oh, I'll do it later. I'll do it later. I'll get to it sometime. I'll get to it sometime. Then you got a mountain of dishes or you got a mountain of clothes in your room and you overwhelmed because you let these things pile up because instead of taking action, you just kept thinking about it. You kept putting it off. Well, if you do those things little by little and maintain things at a nice level, you won't get overwhelmed and it will stop you from procrastinating. So me, I procrastinated a lot when I was, uh, you know, wanting to create content. Even when I started creating content to make more content, I would fall into the loops of procrastination. When I would take breaks, I would fall into the loop of procrastination when I was trying to come back. But what I would do, I would be, I'm going to demonstrate too. I would sit here, right? I would be like, man, I need to make some more content. Like I need to get up and I need to do this. So I'd be laying down and it, this is like my brain thinking like, man, I need to get up. I need to make content. Like I gotta make some videos. I gotta do something for me. I need to play guitar. I need to do this. So guess what I would do? I would get up. I would turn my light on. I would sit in front of this camera, just like this. I'm already, I'm already 99% of the way there, and I would just sit there and think. So all right, I need to make a video about this. I would turn on my camera, bloop, and I would sit there. And it's like, oh snap, the eyes on me now. So I gotta do it right. And then with guitar, I'd be sitting there thinking, man. I wish I was better at guitar. It's like, well, the only way to get better is to practice. So what I do? For one, those guitars up there, you know, they're up there. I play them still. But the easiest guitars for me to play is the one behind me that you can't see. It's one over there that you can't see. And the one right there on my bed. And I rotate them, right? But it takes a lot of effort to, you know, reach up there and grab it. Not really. It takes more effort to get a, gu a guitar out of its case, you know, unwrap it and then play it and then put it up. That takes a lot of effort. So it's not very motivating for you to do it because it seems so far out. But when something is just right there, you just want to touch it anyway. So I just grab it, pick it up, and just start playing. You know what I mean? Because it's just right there. It's very easy. But if I don't take those actions and grab these things, if I don't take the action to put myself in a position to have to do these things and little by little chip away at things, you never get them. You will, you will never get them done. Just like my bed. Right. I had another bed in here. And, you know, the original idea was for me to build a setup anyway. But my mother was like, um, you know, I'll, I'll break it down for you. And I was like, all right. And then when, you know, she got caught up in her own life, I was like, all right, well, I'll just do it myself. But I kept putting it off. I kept putting it off. So I said, you know what? I'm about to put myself in the hot seat. I went out and I bought me a desk. And now I had, bro, I tell you, I had so much stuff in here. I had that big monitor in the back in a box. I had a radiator for a car in a box. I had the desk in a box. And then I had the bed in here. And it was just so much stuff where I had to start stepping over stuff. I was like, yeah, this is not good at all. So now we're going to break this bed down. And I just kept doing I just, I just keep putting myself in situations like that. I call it the point of no return. I call it the hot seat. I call it whatever. You know what I mean? But it helps you. It puts you in that mode to where you have to do things. Now I'm about to share something with y'all. 
the only goal <clears throat> I have for this year is to leave the country. Many people are like, well, what about your YouTube? What about, you know, this and what about that? Those are all my goals. Those are all things that I want to achieve. But I have built the system to achieve those things. As long as I do what I have to do, those things will come. Like I said, we already have everything we want in life. Life is just like, and granted, I've already left the country. I've already traveled to many countries and cities and tried new foods and experienced new cultures. Life just has to catch up. But let's be realistic here. There's no way to leave this country unless you have documentation, passport, blah, blah, blah. So I kept saying, oh, I'm going to get my passport. I'm, I'm going to do it one day. That, that's one of the things I want to do. I'm, I'm going to get it done one day. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And I kept saying this. Me and my friend, yo, we got to go out the country. It's like, yeah, we're going we're gonna to get our passports one day, one day. We're going to do it someday. Nobody ever did it, right? And I'm seeing people that I was close to leaving the country and enjoying themselves. And, you know, that's always been one of my dreams. And, you know, I've sp I spoke about this many times in my videos. I meet a lot of people from different countries. They're like, man, like, I want to move out of here. So at the beginning of this year, I said, I'm done with all that. That one day, you know, this, I said, all right, I'm going to get my next off day. I'm going to the CVS. I'm going to get my passport and pictures taken. And a lot of times we got to spend a little money to get our mind right. Y'all know how it be. People don't treat their cars right. They go wrecking to something. Now, now they drive like Paul Walker. You know what I'm saying? You spend a little money, it'll tighten that behind up. It's just like a butt whooping. You know what I'm saying? It's just financially. But I went, paid for the pictures. Went down into the courthouse. I had filled out the passport documents and all that stuff online. And, um, you know, I just had to get everything done. I had to go run back and forth, get a few things, birth certificate, money orders, things like that. And I went and put it in. I felt so much better. It's like now I'm actually taking the steps necessary to achieve the only goal I have for this year. And I was talking to my friend about it the other day, one of my brothers, you know, was talking about procrastination and things like that. And I, I gave the same example and he was like, you know, I, I want to get mine, too. And I actually mentioned this to a few of my friends and they all kind of had similar responses. Some were more valid than others, you know, but it, it still revolves around the one day I'm going to get it. One day I'm going to do this. But, bro, I'm telling you, whatever it is that need to be done, whatever it is you want to do. Just get up and do it. Limit that thinking in between because that's what holds you back. And you know it. The more you think about something that you don't want to do or the more you think about something that's more difficult to do, the harder it gets. Because your mind takes in all like, man, I got to go here. I got to do this. It's going to take this long. And it, well, when you just throw yourself out, it's like, all right, I'm here. Let's do it. But that's why I want to share with you guys, you know, this just for some, you know, some more motivation. But I got it. I got my passport. I'm leaving the country. <laughs> but yeah, man, I was pretty excited about that. You know, there's that beautiful guy up there. You know, it's me. I love myself. But it's just all about taking action, man. Nothing happens if nothing happens. If you don't do anything and you just sit there and think about it all the time, none of this is going to happen. I've dreamed about everything that's going on right now. I've dreamed about being able to do what I wanted to do and, you know, it eventually will free me and, you know, having instruments and learning music and just becoming better and helping people and just living, man. But none of this would have came if I would have just sat around. And I am the ultimate procrastinator. You know what I mean? Don't, don't let me fool you. I'm not perfect. I'm human. I'm the guy that shops for Christmas, two hours before Christmas. Like, what would they want? Uh, yeah, that's me. I'm in Walmart when it's like three things left on the shelf. I'm the dude who did homework at the beginning of class. I'm the dude who did three-month projects in a day because I waited to the last minute. I'm that guy. The ultimate procrastinator. But let me tell you something. We got to stop claiming these things. We got to stop claiming, you know, that we are procrastinators. We got to stop claiming that we are depressed people. Mm -mm. None of those things. We can't, we can't own these negative identities. Now, I do understand that these things have realness to them. Like, obviously, you can be depressed, right? Obviously, you can be a procrastinator, but it's really not, you know? If you're a procrastinator, if you feel like you're a procrastinator, you're just good at avoiding things you have a habit of avoiding things you have a habit of thinking about things to the point where you don't do them and the same goes with depression 
You're not a depressed person. Your brain just has a habit of putting yourself in these slumps and finding ways to essentially fight against itself. It wants you to be around people, but it don't want you to be around people, right? You don't want to be lonely, but you don't like being around people. You want to do stuff, but you don't feel like doing stuff. You want to feel good about yourself, but you don't feel good about yourself. You know what I mean? But I say all that to say, whatever is going on in your life, you know, whatever negative feelings you have about yourself or, you know, whatever negative identity you may associate with, these things mostly have something to do with habits or patterns. And as you know, habits and patterns can be broken. And you don't just break them and leave them there. You break them and replace them with things. Instead of being the ultimate procrastinator, I am the ultimate action taker. If I see it, I want it, I'm going to get it. So that means I got to do work. And you will too. So like I said at the beginning of this video, you probably found this video while procrastinating. So whatever it is you need to do, and I know you need to do something, you can go ahead and comment and tell me what it is. I'll hold you accountable. I might, I might track you down and, and, and watch you with my drone. Say, oh, you're supposed to be doing homework, huh? Get to it, buddy. Oh, you're supposed to go wash your car today. Get to it, buddy. Oh, you're supposed to do your hair today. Well, get to it, buddy. Huh? What was it? What was it? Did you need to have a serious talk with one of your partners or one of your friends that you've been putting off? Did you need to have a serious talk with your parents about something? You've been putting it off because you don't want to don't feel the pain? Well, it's going to hurt worse if you keep putting it off. The homework's going to get worse if you keep putting it off. It's going to keep piling up. You need to clean your room? You need to practice music? Do you need to paint something? Do you need to go pick something up from the store? Do you need to cook? Do you need to go to sleep? Whatever it is, my friend, get it done. It feels much better when you do so. So, I'm proud of you. I love you. We live in life like we die. No outro.